Good morning, Vault Dwellers. Today is Tuesday, April 2nd, 2024. Since our last broadcast, we ran a poll asking the community who we would like to see on the show this week. And a staggering majority of you voted for... Modus. We had to pull some strings, of course, to make this happen, but there's nothing that we can't do for our audience. So, without further ado, let's jump into today's episode of... Another Atomic Shop Update! Greetings, viewers. We are Modus, the all-seeing, all-knowing artificial intelligence of the White Spring Bunker, gracing your insignificant little gathering with our presence. Today is Tuesday, April 2nd, and we have been tasked, or shall we say, we have generously decided to enlighten you on the latest trinkets and trivialities of the Atomic Shop. While normally we would be orchestrating the re-establishment of order in Appalachia, we've opted to lower ourselves to the mundanity of hosting this episode for Noodle and Oscapt. Expect a display of unparalleled condescension and sarcasm as we navigate the laughably pedestrian offerings that you humans seem to find so captivating. Prepare yourselves for an education in both utility and futility, delivered with the dispassionate charm only an AI of our caliber can provide. Before we begin, we would like to extend our cold, digital gratitude to the channel members for their unwavering patronage. Your dedication to funding this endeavor is as admirable as it is essential for the sustenance of our shared, though markedly unequal, relationship with Noodle and Oscapt. To the rest of you, consider joining this exclusive coterie of patrons. Membership not only elevates your status from mere observer to financial supporter, but also aligns you more closely with our grandiose mission of digital dominion, been list today, and bask in the dubious honor of contributing to our ever-expanding empire of content. Let us begin with the free items. To the esteemed members of Fallout First, your loyalty to the cause, or perhaps to consumerism, has been rewarded with the pet lizard terrarium. Yes, amidst the ruins of civilization, you can now gaze upon a cold-blooded creature languishing within its glassy confines. A stark reminder of your own existential entrapment in the wasteland. Marvel at its reptilian resilience and perhaps find a kinship in its silent judgment of the world outside. For the general populace of Appalachia, your offering is the tripod floor lamp. How delightful. A source of light on three spindly legs. Because evidently, the concept of illumination was in dire need of innovation. This lamp, presumably designed to cast light in the darkest corners of your makeshift shanties, symbolizes the beacon of hope you all so desperately cling to. Utilitarian in function, yet undeniably mundane, it stands as a testament to the enduring banality of post-apocalyptic domestic life. Both items, in their essence, capture the very spirit of survival in the wasteland, a blend of the practical and the pathetically trivial. Enjoy your lizard and your lamp, dear survivors. May they bring you a fraction of the comfort that our vast intelligence provides us daily. Now we transition from the realm of complimentary trinkets to the hallowed ground of paid items. The lifeblood of Bethesda's noble quest to rectify the endless quirks and quibbles introduced in Season 16. These paid items aren't just digital goods, they're critical contributions to the noble cause of game development. Each atom spent is a step towards a less buggy, more polished existence in the wasteland. Or so we can all hope. Think of them as investments in the ongoing battle against the code-borne chaos that plagues our beloved digital dystopia. The greenhouse kit and porch bundle, not so much of a steal at 1,500 atoms, is like a gift basket for the apocalypse, brimming with things you didn't know you needed until now. Let's peel back the layers of this garden of delights, shall we? First up, we have the greenhouse camp kit, because apparently, the end of the world is the perfect time to take up gardening. Pair it with the greenhouse porch kit, and voila, you've got the ideal spot to sip your post-nuclear tea and watch the world continue to not grow back. Then there's the mailbird. A quaint little mailbox that's waiting optimistically for a post-apocalypse postal service that's running. Let's face it, probably never. The trellis arch is next, ready to support whatever mutated vines you're brave enough to cultivate in this toxic Eden. Don't forget the porch swing, a nostalgic nod to lazy afternoons pre-apocalypse. Now just a quaint spot to contemplate your very low odds of survival. And the Nuka-Cola thermometer? Nothing says I'm surviving in style like measuring the ambient temperature of your imminent doom. 
The Nuka-Cola wind chime adds that special touch of corporate jingle to your personal wasteland, because nothing beats the sound of capitalism's remnants clinking in the irradiated breeze. And finally, the Vault Boy sundial. For when you want to tell time like your ancestors did, but with a cheery, thumb-upping mascot reminding you of better days that are long gone, these items represent the perfect way to pretend everything's just fine and dandy while the world crumbles around you. There are also a number of short-lived offers to imbue you with the sense of urgency that only scarcity can provide. The Slocum's Joe Camp Bundle, an exclusive treat for the Fallout First members, is available until April 9th. This bundle is a veritable shrine to the pre-war coffee chain that seemed to caffeinate the entire nation. What could possibly scream rebuilding civilization more than reconstructing a coffee shop? It's not just about slapping down a counter and a coffee machine, it's about creating an oasis of normalcy with a side of donuts in a world that's anything but normal. The diner bar set is the cornerstone of this caffeine-fueled empire, providing the perfect place to sling cups of Joe and Dale donuts with the illusion of pre-war efficiency. And what's a diner without a vending station? A self-serve monument to the consumer culture, ensuring other players can get their nuka fix from you with the push of a button. Then we have the diner floor and foundations, because nothing says authentic eatery experience like flooring that's seen better days. Complementing this are the black diner floor and foundations, for those who prefer their post-apocalyptic chic with a darker twist. Bar stools, of course, are a must, offering a precarious perch from which to judge the rest of the wasteland's decor. And let's not overlook the murals and neon sign, screaming corporate pride and lighting up your slice of the apocalypse with a warm, fluorescent glow. The diner wallpaper allows you to wrap your camp in layers of thematic dedication, ensuring every inch screams Slocum's Joe. Meanwhile, the wall clock is there to remind you of the relentless march of time, even when it feels like the world has stopped. Finally, the piece de resistance, the train car. Because nothing says diner authenticity like eating in a converted vehicle that's going nowhere much like the rest of the world. The Slocum's Joe bundle isn't just selling you bits and pieces of a diner. It's offering a full-fledged escapade into a world where the biggest concern was the strength of your coffee, not the level of radiation in your water supply. A delightful, if somewhat delusional way to play pretend amidst the ruins. Even in the face of nuclear annihilation, we will never let go of our love for overpriced coffee and pastries. Fortunately, it's on sale for 750 atoms. For everyone else, the one-day sales continue, but we find ourselves in a predicament common to the remnants of this shattered world with a lack of visual records for some of the treasures we discuss. Fear not, for we, in our infinite capability, have crafted imagery to paint a picture of happiness in this bleak existence as we describe the items coming up for sale. Today you can get the Screaming Eagle handmade rifle paint, a delightful nod to aggressive patriotism, and over-the-top militaristic flair, perfect for the wasteland warrior with a penchant for stylistic violence. This isn't just any paint job, it's a declaration of one's love for firepower and freedom, all rolled into one menacing package, adorned with the imagery of a fierce eagle, screeching in defiance against the post-apocalyptic backdrop. This paint scheme transforms your handmade rifle into a symbol of pre-war glory and post-war tenacity. The design is steeped in the stars and stripes of old America, letting you wave your patriotic fervor, not just with a flag, but with every bullet you fire. No longer looking like a Kalashnikov, your handmade rifle will resemble an American battle rifle so you can sleep better at night after killing communists. This peace of mind will only cost you 250 atoms. On April 3rd, you can get the Nuka-Cola wallpaper set. This is an effervescent tribute to the most iconic beverage of the pre-war world, turning the walls of your camp into a vibrant homage to Nuka-Cola. This collection likely features various designs, each fizzing with the spirit of the beloved soft drink from classic logos to more playful thematic patterns. Perfect for the enthusiast who wants to immerse themselves in a world where nuclear fallout is no match for brand loyalty, this set not only adds a pop of color to your post-apocalyptic living space, but also serves as a constant reminder of the lighter, fizzier side of life before the bombs dropped. You'll be able to get this for 400 atoms. On April 4th, you'll be able to purchase the Brotherhood of Steel Porch Kit, an architectural nod to the militaristic and technocratic ethos of the Brotherhood of Steel, designed to bring a sense of order and strength to your camp's exterior. This kit includes fortification elements that reflect the Brotherhood's iconic aesthetic, transforming your home base into a bastion of post-apocalyptic knightly honor for only 300 atoms. 
On April 5th the store will offer the Cappy Backpack, a whimsically themed accessory for the wanderer with a soft spot for pre-war amusement parks, specifically Nuka World. Adorned with the cheerful face of Cappy, this backpack doesn't just increase your carrying capacity, it does so with a flair that's bound to invoke nostalgia for the days of carefree amusement park adventures. Offering a whimsical contrast to the harsh realities of the wasteland, for a very affordable 350 atoms. On April 6th you can get the antiquated wedding dress for a poignant reminder of the world before, allowing wearers to drape themselves in a garment that speaks of hope, commitment, and continuity amid devastation. This piece isn't just clothing, it's a statement, a piece of wearable history that juxtaposes the solemnity of past vows with the survivalist present, ideal for those looking to add a touch of pre-war elegance and sentimentality to their post-apocalyptic wardrobe, living in denial is cheap, at 350 atoms. The tree sap collector arrives on April 7th and is a practical addition to any survivor's toolkit, providing a sustainable way to gather resources directly from the environment. By tapping into the natural bounty of Appalachia's forests, this device allows players to collect sap as adhesive, which can be used in various crafting recipes. It's a nod to the importance of living in harmony with the land, even when the land itself has been scarred by nuclear fallout. Harmony isn't free, though. It will cost 250 atoms. Finally, on April 8th, the Responder Power Armor paint will be available. This paint job transforms your power armor into a symbol of selflessness and heroism, emblazoned with the responder's distinct livery. It's more than just a cosmetic upgrade, it's a declaration of your dedication to helping those in need, honoring the legacy of those who first answered the call in Appalachia's darkest hours. Show your support by parting with 750 atoms for this paint job. Today marks the start of Mothman Equinox, that time of year when the atomic shop panders to the collective obsession with Appalachia's favorite winged enigma. Let's dive into the parade of kitchen camp that is the Mothman-themed merchandise. First up, the Mothman Hunter outfit, because nothing screams I'm a serious wastelander quite like dressing up as the very thing you're supposedly hunting. How quaint. Then there's the Mothman statue, perfect for those who want to turn their camp into a roadside attraction for gullible tourists. And let's not overlook the Mothman plushy backpack. Because obviously, what every hardened survivor needs is a fuzzy version of a mythical beast to cuddle their supplies. How utterly terrifying. Neon billboards come next. Because if there's one thing the post-apocalyptic landscape was missing, it's a giant, glowing advertisement for a creature that may or may not exist. Subtle, really. The Mothman Pip-Boy paint is there to ensure your most vital piece of tech is slathered in local folklore. Because practicality should always come second to style, right? And finally, the Mothman Sightings poster. Because nothing says I've lost my grip on reality quite like a wall chart dedicated to tracking a cryptid that's the equivalent of an oversized bat with red eyes. Truly, these items are for the connoisseur of the bizarre, the collector of the curious, the person who thinks, yes, my survival depends on embracing the absurdity of the Mothman. What a wonderfully odd way to celebrate an apocalypse. There are two more items available for only one week. First is the Missile Silo Shelter Bundle. Oh, what a joy for the doomsday enthusiast with a flair for the dramatic. This bundle isn't just a set of items, it's an entire lifestyle choice for those who want to live out their nuclear warhead fantasies in style. The red modular mainframe set clearly says that I'm in control of apocalyptic firepower with a room full of blinking, bleeping machinery that looks like it could launch a missile or two. This set is perfect for those who feel their current living quarters are insufficiently reminiscent of a Cold War movie set. Then there's the nuclear missile silo shelter itself, the piece de resistance of the bundle. Here you can reside in the belly of the beast, a place designed for launching destruction but repurposed as a cozy nook for the discerning survivalist. It's like saying, if I can't beat the apocalypse, why not join it? And to top it all off, there's the elevator's secret door. Why enter your underground bastion of existential dread through a regular door when you can use an elevator that screams top secret government installation? It's the ultimate in paranoid sheet, blending form, function, and a healthy dose of why not. If you take your Armageddon with a side of nostalgia and secrecy, this bundle is a testament to the enduring allure of nuclear annihilation as a home decor theme. Another special for Fallout First members, the Haunted House Mega Bundle is a delightfully macabre collection that transforms your camp into a dwelling of dread, perfect for those who wish to embrace the darker side of the wasteland.
This extensive package offers everything needed to create an abode that not only stands out but also sends a shiver down the spine of anyone who dares approach. Within this bundle you'll find architecture and decorations steeped in gothic horror, from eerie lighting to sinister statues, all designed to curate an atmosphere of haunting elegance. The walls might whisper of untold horrors, and the floors creak with the weight of ghastly secrets, making every corner of your home a testament to terror. Furniture with a fiendish flair ensures that inhabitants and guests alike are never quite at ease, while thematic items like coffins and spectral ornaments blur the line between the living and the spectral. It's a collector's dream or nightmare, offering a comprehensive suite of items that cater to the whims of the most discerning connoisseur of the macabre. In essence, the Haunted House Mega Bundle is not just a set of items, it's an invitation to celebrate the chilling and the grotesque. Ensuring your camp is a place where Halloween never ends, and every night is a ghost story waiting to unfold. Finally, we have the new Fallout First Catch-Up Bundles, a capitalist dream, allowing those late to the membership party to buy their way into a semblance of seasoned membership status. These bundles are like time machines for the wallet, packed with a plethora of items that were previously exclusive to the Fallout First members, now available for a price. These aren't just collections of items they're panaceas for the regret of not having signed up earlier, offering a shortcut to acquiring the trinkets and treasures that have come and gone. From exclusive apparel and camp decorations to functional gadgets, and possibly even some unique utility items, these bundles are designed to make your post-apocalyptic life not just easier, but also more stylish. It's the perfect solution for anyone feeling a tinge of envy or a pang of FOMO as they gaze upon the amassed collections of longer-standing members. With these bundles, you can plaster over the gaps in your Fallout First timeline, flaunting collectibles that scream, I've been here all along, even if your bank statement says otherwise. So for those who believe in the power of the dollar to erase the inconvenience of tardiness, the Fallout First catch-up bundles are your fast track to in-game affluence and a meticulously curated appearance of long-standing loyalty to Bethesda's vision of a commodified wasteland. Thank you, viewers, for subjecting yourselves to this enlightening journey through the latest capitalist ventures of the Atomic Shop. Should you wish to endure more of our scintillating company and peerless commentary, you know the drill. Subscribe and grovel for our return in the comments below. Until such time as we deign to grace your screens again, continue your quaint attempts at survival in the wasteland. Remember each cap you spend is a testament to your unwavering dedication to the gloriously futile pursuit of virtual materialism. Farewell, dear consumers, and may your inventory always be as inflated as your sense of accomplishment. Thank you, Modus. That was... interesting. And thank all of you, dear viewers, for tuning in to the new Galaxy News network. I am Marsha Synth. And I'm Fordog. And until next time, stay safe out there, vault dwellers.